see how many people are here. Uh, okay. We still have a couple of minutes. You know, usually we start at, <clears throat> we start at five. So I uh, uh, hope you guys had a good spring break. Hope you guys had a good spring break. And um, we got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, <clears throat> one thing I wanna really finish up on this week because we, I wanna finish the, the rest of the anatomy. We just gotta finish the arm and the leg. And uh, that's all we need uh, to finish. Uh, but I mean, there are, there's a lot of information that we gotta deal with, uh, you know, today and then on, on, uh, on Wednesday. I think it should be enough time to finish or almost, I think we should be able to finish. We better, I better finish because I, I think we gotta move on uh, to growing the model. And that's one thing I wanna, wanted to mention. Uh, we we have a model ready for us. Uh, it'll be a male model. Uh, but yeah, you guys need to. Uh, we gotta come up with a with a way for you guys to uh, feel safe to come back to the school. And like I mentioned in the past, uh, it'll be volunteers. You know who wants to come and and draw the model. I think. We've been doing good just uh, drawing the, the bark drawings and going over the anatomy, but I think it's indispensable in the, in the class to draw the live model. And uh, I'll, you know, I will ask you guys, uh, I wanna bring in a small group of you so you can draw the model starting a week from today, next Monday. Uh, and the rest of you, if you don't want to join, uh, I can continue to do lessons online for you. Uh, but I do think it's important that we use the model. Uh, you, you'll see that it'll provide other, other challenges uh, from what we've been doing. So keep that in mind, you know, uh, you know, we gotta come back and, and uh, you know, Again, it depends on your situation. You know, like I'm, I got vaccinated. I'm sure some of you are fully vaccinated. So like, we should be pretty safe, you know, and then we'll, we've got the distancing in the studio and wearing the masks. Um, I haven't drawn the live model in about a year. So I'm excited to draw the model again. Um, but today, yeah, I wanna, I wanna get started on this. Uh, there's a, there's a lot of things we're gonna go over. So get get your get your notes ready. Get the drawing uh, of the skeleton with the muscles that we've started. And we're gonna work on the arm. I've prepared lots and lots of notes. Uh, the arm it gets. Uh, let me show you some of the drawings I've done here. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll be showing you these drawings. Uh, of course, I've had these notes here for a while. See all those muscles uh, on the arm. And, uh, but I've, I've also done these other notes to break it up even more so that I can draw them a little bit easier. See, I've got all these other drawings here to help me in, in the, I have a good understanding of the anatomy that I can do from my head, but it's always better to have all these references to be more precise. And of course we have the, we've got the front view, the back view, but I don't believe we've drawn uh, the side view for the arm. And that's what I wanna get started doing. And as you can see, I already started drawing here the, uh, 
the arm, the, you know, the bones of, of, the, of the arm. So we'll draw that first. We'll try and do that, you know, quickly, and then we'll start adding the, the anatomy. We then have the right arm floating. Uh, I, I don't want to do this over the side view of the anatomy because the buildup of, of pastel was, was already a lot. So we're gonna draw it on here, and I'll I'll show you what you're gonna what you're gonna do. Uh, so yeah, let's get started with this. Also, another thing that was pretty cool. Uh, another thing that just arrived today. We've got a very nice uh, collection of casts. Let me show you, I, I took some photos. I, I took some photos with my phone here. I haven't been able to post them other than on Instagram. Let me see if you can see it here. See, we got the torso. It's a cast of a dissection. Like, and we got a whole bunch. This is a, a face. It's, it's still wrapped. It just they, they arrived today. We got these. Uh, this is uh, one of the Greek gods. He's uh, Hermas or Hermes, depending how you want to pronounce it. And see, there's a lot more. There's a bunch of packages. There's more, you know, portrait heads, you know, arms, legs. And I'm, I want to also use those with you, but we got to draw these from, from direct observation. These are, some of these are, are what the bar drawings are, are based on. So it's pretty nice to have the actual cast here. And it, it's a, it was a good investment from the art department to purchase all these casts. I'm pretty, I always wanted to draw them. I've, I've drawn some of them, but to finally have them here, uh, it's pretty exciting for me. So I want to, I want to draw those with you guys, but. Of course, I want you guys to start coming back to class. Do uh, you guys have any questions? No? Anybody there? Yeah, we're here. Oh, I'm here. Okay. Is, there, is there a list we have to sign up to to go back to class? That is what I'm going to do. I, I'm, uh, I'm going to, I'll make a, on the group blog here, I'll just ask who wants to come back, you know. Uh, and some of you have already told me you want to come back. Some have told me that you don't want to because, you know, I understand perfectly because of whatever situation there might be. Uh, but yeah, and once I see how many people want to come in, like in some other class, like out of 20 people, I think only like six want to come. I'm thinking those people could come every day, like you know, Mondays and Wednesdays. But if it because that there's enough space in the studio for like eight people, like for the spacing. Uh, so it depends how many people want to come, you know. Uh, but yeah, I'll come up with a list and uh, I, you know, that I'm hoping things get better, things seem to be better. I think we all want to come back. I don't know if that answers the question. All right. Any other questions before we get started here? Okay. So look, what I'm what I'm going to do here to to get started, uh, I'm going to bring the proportions over. So that I can have my 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 the bones of the arm be you know same you know the same uh, length as as on on this one over here. So look, I'm gonna just kind of guess or like you know bring this. This is the top of the of the humerus. I'm gonna bring it over. I already kind of did this. You know, you can bring that measurement over. And then this measurement here is the second head measurement. It's also the fifth rib. And this becomes important here, this measurement, because that's where the uh, pectoralis is gonna attach and the, and the deltoid and the, it's an important measurement there because you got also the biceps. So you wanna bring that measurement over. 
I have it here. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm just going to draw the line over. Uh, then the third head measurement at the at the belly button here. That's going to help me in, in placing the uh, the arm at its proper length. And then the fourth head measurement way at the bottom here. You might not be able to see that, but it's a uh, the bottom of the pelvis. And you might, I'm sure you guys have, if you look at the, all the stuff that I've sent you, you have a side view of the arm from one of the books. Uh, but I'm, I mean, I'm gonna draw this. Uh, if you wanna, wanna jump ahead, you can pull up that image. It's on the announcement somewhere on there. And you can also be looking at that. I'm, I've got this other one that I've sketched out. This is the side view of, of, the, of the right arm. Uh, so right now I'm just, you know, kind of, you know, getting the, the height of it, correct? You know, that's the, that would be the top. And then this is the bottom of the, of the humerus. I'm gonna bring that over. I already had it kind of sketched on there. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start to draw this. And I wanna just, Kind of round up the top here, and then it kind of tapers. It tapers down, but it, see, I'm going to curve it here because it does have this very graceful curve to it. So this is the basic shape, and I'm, of course, I'm going to end it right here with this. You know, this line that I brought over. And I'm going to raise a little bit. You know, it's rather fussy right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sharpen it up. And there's some important, you know, structures here that we want to emphasize. Uh, get another pencil to it. Well, for example, there's a. Uh, uh, if you look over here on this, on, on the front view, this area that sticks out, this is a ridge. And I'm going to indicate that by doing this here. And this ridge becomes important because it, it's used by many, many muscles as a point of attachment. And see this, it, it's curved here. Chelsea is coming. And then up here, you have this rounded portion. And it gets rather straight there. And then it does this. And see this, this structure up here, it's also another projection out of the bone that is used by muscles to, to grab onto here. So this is the, uh, the humerus. And the, you know, you might want to do this. This is there's like a circular kind of a structure here. But yeah, this is that's that's projecting out. That is this here. It's sticking out. And to indicate it, I'm gonna use so I'm gonna use some some white to show that that sticks out here. Kind of blend it in. And also I wanna show that this is uh, sticking out here.
And of course, this is uh, right in front of the scapula, right? You know, I want to indicate the scapula here. Remember the scapula right here comes down to the second head measurement. And on this, up here we have the, uh, this is the acromion process. That's going to stick up over here. This is used by the bicep muscle to, to attach to it. And then this up here, bring it up a little higher. This is the spine of the, uh, of the scapula. And it does this, and it's just kind of a simple uh, growing of the scapula right? on the, the side view. This is the spine that sticks out. Chromium process. Up here, you also have the uh, the clavicle. I'm just gonna draw a portion of it. Uh, so you've got the humerus, the scapula, the spine. These are all the important structures you want to have on there. This projection, this ridge, uh, and then we're gonna move on to the lower arm. Now remember also there were I assigned you some homework because I want to finish this. I'm not going to look at it right now, but I will I'll be checking it uh, today or, or tomorrow. So you want to make sure you you upload those two drawings. Um, and so you've got the you have the humerus. Uh, these two are the the condyles, these, this is the condyle here, also that, that portion. Uh, and then on the bottom, you have two bones, the radius. The radius has this circle up here. When at this angle, it looks more like a, like a cylinder. Uh, but that, that allows your arms uh, to radiate, to do this. When you do this, that is the bone that moves. The, so this is the radius because it radiates. And this is, this is called the ulna. This one doesn't move. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Like it, when you do this movement, this stays in the same place. This is, this is what, because it has this cylindrical structure, it just turns. You know, it's like, a, what do I have here that's cylindrical? Yeah, it's like, you know, like this top portion here, when you see it from like a bird's eye view, it's just, it's a circle and it, it you know, it does this when it radiates. And so from this angle, it, it's gonna cover partially the ulna, that structure there. And so up here on the, on the top, You want to do this kind of like a bottle cap. And when I'll show you this when I think I have that, let me see, I think I have that bone here. Somewhere. I have a, I have a, the lower leg. So see, it has that little bottle cap structure. That's a, a white there. And then it has this little projection as well that you want you want to emphasize that, you know, it's between, you know, I've got this, the third head measurement. So that's gonna help me put, you know, putting that in. Again, this is to uh, help some of the muscles attach. And I'm gonna bring it down. And then it kind of opens up. And it has these, projections as well that are used for the, for the muscles. Uh, as we get into this, into the, 
into the anatomy here, you want to keep in mind that it's, it's going to be primarily two types of muscles, the flexors and the, ex, the extenders. You know, flexion is the movement when you bring, like when you bring two body parts, you know, together like this is flexion. Extension is when you move them away. Uh, so they're, the muscles of the lower arm are really the muscles that move your fingers. And I'll show you how you, how you can test your, how you can test that, you know, that idea. And then, so this is the, uh, the radius and a little bit of white here to show that these projections, like three of them. I should have used, this, this is cheap uh, paper, like cheap wrapping paper, but I like the color. I, I get more contrast than on, than on this paper. This is the expensive uh, pastel paper. I see just a little indication it, it pops up. And then you have the, uh, the radius and of course you have the ona. The ona it is the, you don't, of course you don't see this portion on this, but this is the elbow, this is, uh, and you wanna do a little gap here as it comes down. And then it goes behind the radius. And you, you're gonna see just a little bit. That is what we see of the, the owner. And it's, And just a little bit of a highlight here. And maybe here a little bit to show the scapula. So this measurement, the, the humerus should be a little bit longer than the radius and the and the ulna, uh, because then you have also here. Let me, let me move this down a little bit. You have to take into account the wrist, the muscles of the wrist, or the bones of the wrist. So we're just gonna do a few of these uh, bones just so that the drawing looks nice, you know, just a little like we just kind of didn't pay attention here. Uh, so we're gonna have the thumb uh, coming down to the third half measurement. And then Actually, this is the thumb. I mean, this portion, and this, this, this becomes the you know part of the palm of it. And I'm just going to keep it, you know, kind of simple there. I'm just going to do the index and the and the middle thing. And I also, I, I received a, uh, I ordered a cast of the anatomy of the arm, which is, I don't know that I haven't opened up all the, all the packages, but uh, there should also be one that we ordered and also the anatomy of, of the leg. So we can, we can, you know, check those out later on. And I'm just gonna add some highlights here. 
this is the these are the wrist part of the wrist fingers and so this I'm gonna break that up into two sections. This. I'm looking at this one over here. So that's part of the wrist. It's one something to attach the tendons to. Uh, down into the arm, it's mostly tendons. You know, there are some muscles in here between the fingers, but uh, it's primarily tendons down here. Very thin uh, structures. So, okay, we've got the drawing of the side view of the arm, and we can uh, we can start to. I can. You, know, you want to draw this? Uh, I'm going to look for my notes to show you. Uh, I'm going, to, I'm going to start with the with the deepest muscles. There's a there's a lot of overlap of, of muscles, and I want to indicate where they are. Uh, I want to indicate uh, what's in front, what's behind. Let me, I'm going to pin this. In some of the notes, you'll see we can have them as, as references. Uh, I'm gonna, you might not see these. I, I, these are, I'll move the camera, you know, move the, the board back and forth. Move this a little bit just to uh, like on, on these notes. I, I sometimes like I feel like I put way too much information, and when I'm using these uh, for demonstration, sometimes I get confused. Uh, so that's why I've been trying to do these other notes where I break it up. I wanted to have these so that I could have all the information in, in one sheet, but then it was like it's way too much information. I sometimes find it difficult to make sense of. Uh, we're gonna start here. And this lighter green one is the bicep, but that's in front of the brachialis, this darker uh, blue one here. So th those are the ones we're gonna start off on the, on the arm. And uh, so finish, you know, just in this time, finish drawing the arm in the side on the side view. One day I'll show you my stack of drawings that I have in my in my desk. So yeah and we'll we also we'll do the back view and just to show you uh, some of the some of the notes that I've done, which I'm very happy with. I had some time over the break to come and finish these. It's the back view. Um, and we'll go over these as well here. And so I, I had shown you these, I think when we started, uh, right? So we're gonna, these are the ones I'm gonna use in, in, and also these as well here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoot this over. 
And we're going to start in this area here on the, the humerus. And like I said, we're going we're gonna to use, we're going to do the, the brachialis. That's the one of the deeper, one of the deeper muscles. See here? The camera focus. So that's what we're fixing to do. And these, of course, these are for my reference because uh, a big portion of this is going to get overlapped. Uh, and also in, in, uh, in this angle that we have here, you might be able to see it here. This, I've got this diagram. You know, my, one of my you know, favorite things to do, of course, you know, find out the planes and such things. But what that's showing you, it is the planar structure of, of the upper arm. So it is, the, the back of it is, is uh, I mean, you want to make these drawings here, this will give you a lot of information. And it, it's a challenge trying to fit everything on with a camera view and within, within the same paper. So that is the, the back of the arm. This is made by the triceps, which we already drew. And I, you know, in a little bit, I'll show you, the, I'll show you that drawing as well. Um, and then uh, now this, and then the front plane is made by the bicep. That's what this indicates. So to show you that the, the arm is wider in, in its back portion than its front portion. And maybe I exaggerate and pick this up a little bit here. Because when you when you see it like this, it looks kind of flat. Or when you see this over here, but see like this purple portion here that you might you see, that would be the triceps that create this. This border here. And then this is going to be created by the bicep. And the in between, that is where the brachialis is going to be. And that's what I, I was showing you. That's the. And where, where are we going to put this? Again, like, I, like I've mentioned, uh, the, fifth, the fifth rib, which lines up with the second head measurement, you know, you're going to bring that over. And it has, uh, you can see here, it has like two uh, portions on the top that attach to the uh, to the humerus, and I'm gonna I'm gonna draw that, in. and it's gonna do this. You know, it's gonna. You've got also on the on the ulna here. You've got this area that is rather flat. This is where the the brachialis is going to attach. And it's going to do something like this. And then also it does this. And all of this is going to be under the, the under the bicep. Now this is just like extra information because I'm going to cover it up, and I, I like doing this thing here. Uh, but it has that kind of structure right there. And I'm I'm going to cover that up. Uh, 
I'm gonna use green just to See, that is the shape of the brachialis here. And this portion is, uh, you know, tendon-like, uh, so I'm using yellow there. So that, that is the, uh, the basic uh, form of the, of the brachialis there. Now, what does it look like over here? That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna put a little bit of white here as well. And here, you see this, what it, this curve, uh, and it does this. It's gonna come up to you. I've got the, you know, that second head measurement that is gonna come up to. And it's, I want to reemphasize this portion of the humerus, and it's it's not going to come up right to the ridge. It's going to stay right here. So this is the brachialis. And so, See how nice it stands out on the darker paper. So that's the brachialis, which is under the biceps. Uh, another another muscle we want to do is. Uh, <clears throat> because these are, are deeper muscles, uh, I've got this, you see this drawing here? This is the pronator terrace. And see here, I just have the outline. And see this overlaps the, uh, it overlaps the brachialis. And it's gonna, I'm gonna use, use uh, other here. And see, it starts from the condyle here, and it goes, it overlaps here. And it goes almost halfway. Like if, if you look at the distance from the bottle cap portion of the radius down to the wrist, like somewhere like in between, uh, that's where it all it goes down to. And, but this portion is gonna get, it'll get covered up. We, we, see, we see it mostly up here. Let me get some black. Of course, you, you're not gonna see much of it or at all on the, on the side view. I'm gonna 
I really like this look where I was trying to make it more precise, uh, but it just takes more time and I, want, I really want to finish this. I'm using some violet here. So that's the pronator terrace. And maybe just a little bit of white to indicate here where you're going to have the a little bit of a highlight there. So now which one is next? I think now we can add the, the bicep. So it, these are the deeper muscles of the arm, of the upper arm. And uh, I had already, if you, if you remember here, uh, let, me, let me move this, move up the camera a little bit. I had already drawn here uh, the week before spring break, these tendons that are the sling of the, of the bicep. Now, uh, of course, all of this is gonna get covered up by the, by the pectoralis. Uh, and let me show you here on my other notes here. This is what the, the bicep muscle is gonna look like. It's called bicep because it has two portions and one slings over to the outside of the body, one towards the inside of the body. This is the, the uh, what is this called? The, this is the acromion process. And this is the coracoid process. And so this is the head of the humerus. So we're gonna, we're fixing to do that. So I'm gonna use, this is a pretty important muscle. So I'm gonna to make it stand out. I'm gonna use orange. I'm gonna use a bright orange. So remember this yellow is a tendon of the of the bicep and you, and it comes it has uh, also comes down here and it's uh, let me show you what it's going to do it, it's all it's gonna you've got you might be able to see this. Uh, well, you, sh you should see this. You've got, I've got the outline there of the humerus, right? That you, we can see through the pastel dust. And then you've got here the, the contour of the brachialis. So starting from here, in this tendon, we're gonna do one of the, it has, it has those two portions. It has a short portion and a long portion. This one is the short portion, but see where it's gonna go. See, between these two, and it, it does this here. And it attaches, you see this, this little thing that's sticking out from the radius. I kind of covered it up here with the pronator, but that's where it attaches. And of course, down here, it'll be, it'll become a, a ligament and I'll indicate that. So this is the short head of the bicep. So that one portion of it, and then the 
the long head portion is going to be this one here. You see, this is going to overlap totally the uh, breaky out here. It'll get, it's probably going to turn brown here with the combining the red, the red orange with the, with the green. And I'll differentiate the two portions in a little bit here. So short head and the long head. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this brown here to just separate it. This is bicep. Down there, you've got the the tendon portion. I'm just outlining the the knee. This is the long head of the bicep, short head. Who's taking a look? I gotta make some adjustments here, erase some of this. Oh, I got a little too wide there. And then to indicate it's two masses, it's two heads, as it's referred to at times. There's a bicep, there's a bicep structure. I'm going to use the white here, maybe some yellow. So it, it, it goes under the pronator teres here. And I might have covered a little bit too much of the brachial. We have a little bit of the brachialis. You don't want to lose this little bit of the of the of the condyle. That you can feel right there if you you know you can pat it right there. And yet I I'm gonna shave it to get a little too wide here. It's more like that. And uh, I'm gonna have to move. See the the, uh, the pectoralis actually comes down. Like we have the, the uh, clavicular portion. I gotta move it a little bit more this way. And all, all of these structures here. Bring it in there like that. So we've got the bicep, brachialis, and then uh, 
see this, you want to indicate that right there. This is the, it's called the coracle brachialis because it attaches to this structure. We, we sometimes see a little bit of it. And see this portion here, actually it should be the tricep from behind the arm. Now I'll change the color to this. And I want, I want to indicate the, uh, this is also the tricep coming from behind the arm, which is giving you this outline. You know, remember I said that the back of the arm is wider than the front of the arm. And so that I can, you know, indicate that it's uh, farther back, I'm going to put blue into it. Put blue here. This is a tricep. And also, uh, we don't want to forget. Okay, yeah, before I keep going, let me go on this side. I was going to put the deltoid. That's going to cover up all this and he'll look more complete. So on just to show the, the overlap of the, uh, of the muscles here, of the brachialis. And see, this is how it'll look, the side view of the bicep. And like I had mentioned, you know, this, this little projection here, this is where it attaches. And it, it's gonna, it goes right on top of the brachialis here. You know, on this drawing, I've made the muscles, uh, you know, try to separate them, have them by themselves, so I don't get us confused. But see that gap in there, that's where the brachialis is. And here's my, my side view of the brachialis. And so here's the, the volume of the bicep. And I'll, I'll clarify that with some white or some yellow uh, uh, pastel, which is the Let me get the yellow pastel here. See, this is the long head portion. And this is the short head portion. You can see this structure keeps it in place. <clears throat> I'm 
we'll move this a little bit closer there so you can see it better. And uh, so this is the attachments. Just separating the two heads down here. I'm trying to just kind of do this guy like a, not like a bodybuilder so much. Of course, someone that dedicates their life to building their muscles, these would be a lot bigger. And then the, the other attachment down here. What color did I use? Orange. I think I used orange. It's not this one. So I'm going to fill it in here. The bicep, the side view, a little bit of a highlight to indicate that there's overlapping. The other hand here. So that's the bicep and brachialis. <clears throat> Also, I might, I might as well use this time because we, we did the, the triceps as well. But we only did the back view, so we'll do the, we'll do the side view here. So your, your figures, you know, they should be you know, looking fuller, looking more complete. Oh, my side view here. Even on, on these notes, I have I have uh, just the arm by itself. So we're gonna do these, the triceps. Each one here, red. So the, the, it's three portions, that's why we call triceps. And uh, we kind of figure out what colors to use so they can. I'm gonna stick to blue. So these are going to, like I said, there's three portions. One of them, the deeper one is, uh, it goes in this area here. Like, you know, you take this distance, you know, the height to the, from here to this line, which is the second head measurement. This is where it, it's gonna go. And it, attaches to the elbow portion here of the, uh, of the ulna. And this one, it does come right, you've got the ridge there, that becomes a point. Uh, I'm gonna make this point too big. So it occupies, this is the, the medial head of the triceps. Just so you can see it more clearly, it's almost the same value as the paper, I'm supposed to be wide here. Blend it in with the, with the 
finger. And so that there's no, I'm not letting sharp. This, see, come right to the ridge. This is the medial head of the tricep. Uh, this one is going to get covered up. That is uh, going to be the deepest. And then remember, over this, you have a tendon. That overlaps. Okay, two. See, let me re emphasize this line here that, you know, this ridge that is, I'm using black here, charcoal, and then it's also white. The tendon that overlaps it, it goes here. It's about the same height as uh, this ridge here. And see this, I'm going to fill it in with yellow to indicate that it's a tendon. Very thin, very strong. Uh, tissue. I'm gonna put the yellow in. It'll probably turn green on me because I got blue under here. And I'm going to use charcoal to indicate this is the, the long head that attaches. It's going to, it's going to start off. Uh, and you take, you know, you look at this distance from here to here and like halfway. Remember this one attaches to the, it does this. It attaches up here to the scapula. This is another portion. And I'm going to try and make this a little darker blue. See that goes into the into the uh, scapula there at the very top of the scapula. And just for the effect of shading here. And then this portion here, look, I'm gonna, I've got this line. I'm going to cut in between. I'm going to cover this. This is the other lateral. This is the lateral head of the triceps. You see, this is a portion that you see here. And just give me some time here and I'll differentiate the three of them, different values of three.
And with this, I want to bring it up right next to the brachialis. Shade this one so that it, it, we can separate it. And th this one, let me add some white to bring it out a little bit more here to make it more opaque. So this is the lateral head, the long head, and the medial, the medial portion. Now this ends up being just very little of it that is kept because this, the, the lateral head has like this little tail portion here. And some of you, you know, you work out, you, you know, when you're lifting, your dumbbells, and you're checking yourself out in the mirror, you might see all these structures. But this is very flat. You might see the little tail portion of the lateral head, and a little portion there that is the medial head. So I'm just gonna shade it. And it just see what all that shading is just not with that little portion there. A little bit of shading here. So, so that's the tricep, you know, long head, lateral head, and the medial head. This is the tendon that keeps them in place. Now, I think so. We can we can finish the uh, the upper arm. So we're in good shape here. All right, we've got the. Yeah. I want to finish this. So we can. I want to do some of the leg so that we can for sure finish on Wednesday. Uh, all right. So and. My, my aim here with, is uh, when we have the model, you know, we've been doing the, you know, blocking in. So I had a little highlight there to make this tail portion. Uh, I wanna cover all this before we see the model because then I wanna have some long poses where we draw the model. And once you observe all this and we practice this here, you might see a highlight on this arm, a shadow. And this way we know we can make an informed decision as to how to, how to draw it. And we, this should give us an idea of what's underneath, what it is that we're looking at. And it's not the same thing to know what you're looking at and you're just kind of shading, kind of just trying to figure out what's going on. So this will make our drawings more, you know, more informed. Uh, it's hard for me to stop you in the shadow there. And, and see, you've got the brachialis, everything is kind of coming here at the second head measurement, right? And so we're pretty close to finishing up here. I just gotta put the the uh, the deltoid. But before I do the deltoid, I wanna I wanna just draw this a little bit better. This is the clavicle uh, because this is gonna become important. I could do this. 
Let's just do it here. Uh, that is the clavicle. Well, let me lower this. I think that part of the right there. See this portion is this portion up, up here that is not covered up by the pectoralis, right? Uh, and then there's the other portion that is covered up by the by the pectoralis. And I want to separate these because the deltoid muscle has uh, it has three portions. Someone's coming in. So where can I draw this? I got some space up here. You might be able to, no, you can't see it on the monitors too. I'll, I'll draw it over here. But see, the deltoid uh, kind of does, uh, it should be able to see here. It does. Now, what I'm, what I'm drawing here is like a, kind of like a three quarter side view. So that'd be like the front plane. And then there's this back plane here. And this front plane. This is the this is the deltoid muscle. That's the structure that it has. I mean, I drew it over there because I don't have as much space on this side. Uh, and you might have guessed, you know, this comes down right there to that second head measurement. Uh, I'm gonna draw it on, on this side view because it makes more sense. And see, this portion is attached to the clavicle. This is, I mean, this is exaggerated, but this is gonna be the acromion process. And then this is the spine of the scapula. All right, so keep that in mind. Uh, so what happens here on the side view? We, we emphasize the spine of the scapula with white chalk here. And so from here, it's going to do this. It's going to overlap. Gonna sit in there. I mean, that's the simplified uh, version of it. And then from here, say this, let me shade this a little darker and to separate the spinous scapula from the acromion process. So from there, we will have another. And I should make this what color? Go back to orange and white. See, so this, and it's it's not quite this simple. I, I will break it up. With more detail, but see, this is this is this here. Yellow to make it orange. And then 
see, we've got this, we've got the clavicle and it ends right there in the acromion process. And from there, it will go to this. The area that I get covered up. And let me fill it in. Right now I'm just wanting to cover this. This is the acromion process portion of the, of the deltoid. And then we outline it with the, then this is the delt, not the delt, what's the clavicular portion of the delt. Maybe this will be wide. Keep in mind, like these things, I gotta go back to correct them. Which okay, makes it a little bit brighter to me. Orange. More orange here. So then those are the and uh, of course then you've got in here the uh, this is the pectoralis you know coming in there uh, but you want to shade in here because there's a little bit of a gap between the pectoralis and the deltoid and you can see this on yourself. You put yourself in the mirror. There's a little, little bit of an indentation there. So those are the three planes of the of the deltoid, and uh, and see this this back portion. You curve it there because this is, a, you know, mostly that thin ligament attachment. Um, of course, there's, you know, this will have like a highlight because it's round. That portion is rounded. Uh, this portion has now has is broken up into two smaller portions, and there's you can get more in depth as to the overall like structure of this. I see that right there is the the deltoid. Let's see what I how this looks. I mean, I I can make some. I think this ended up a little too high. I can bring this down a little more. And of course, uh, here it'll be very sunken in, in there. What do the what do the side view? I mean, the front view and the view to show that that is going in. All right. 
So that is uh, side view of the delta. Now on the, I had kind of started sketching it here on, on this angle. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna bring it down. And it overlaps, you know, like it, I show here, it overlaps the you know, tricep lateral head there. So I'll do this. Right on top of the, of the brachialis. And there you have the, I might have made it too round there, but you can come back and check that. So this is the clavicle, the acromion process. And then, uh, <clears throat> let me see how it looks here with the red. So it's gonna follow almost that tendon of the, of the bicep. Huh? So I got, of course, on this view, you only see the acromion process portion of the deltoid and the, and the clavicular portion. And then here, you want to leave that little gap there. And I recommend like all these things that we're looking at here and learning and going over, try and find those on your body. Like, you know, just pat yourself there. And, like, and it all makes more sense. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna fill it in and I'll separate them a little bit with, uh, with more color. See how nice it's looking there. And so I'm gonna use some, well, I'm gonna use some yellow for this. <clears throat> I'm gonna, I've got that connection there clavicle and acromion process. So like I mentioned, there's two portions there. Some, <clears throat> some of this red chalk to outline the ear. That's that separation. And then the rest of this is, of course, the uh, here's the pectoralis here. I think I think overall this is fine here the way I have it here. It's uh, a little hard to see as it's once it all comes together. It's like does it make make sense here? So the This is the uh, pectoralis. It's all very expensive real estate here. All the muscles attached right out there. Separate the bicep here and this other muscle. <clears throat> all right, so this, 
This concludes the upper arm. Let me just do this. You see, this portion is a little bit higher than the, the clavicular portion, a little bit higher than this one here. I might have, let me shave this down. It looks a little too, too buff there. That's better. <clears throat> See, I think that that outline kind of like, to not have used that black. It's kind of messed it up. I think that looks pretty badass. <laughs> if I do say so myself. I'm going to give myself a hug. So I'll give you a minute there to finish that up and then we're gonna to move to the to the back view. And just remember, yeah, we gotta do the back view. Well, I think yeah, we'll just move down here and then we'll and then I'll get the the other. The other drawing of the of back here. So we got like an hour, I think we can, <clears throat> can do this. All right, it's, uh, I can sit down for a little bit. Just kind of figure this out here. Okay, I think there. That's the general area that we're going to work on the lower arm. <clears throat> so like, yeah, like I was saying, uh, your, your arm, uh, we're going to work on the lower arm, the muscles, flexors and extenders. Look, you, you want to do this so you can you want to get your arm and uh, you want to do this, grab your forearm like this. And so where are the flexors and where are the extenders? You know, if you, uh, 
if you do this, if you flex, you're gonna feel the movement on your thumb. And if you extend, you do this, you extend it, your fingers back, you're gonna feel the movement over here. I mean, just try that and you, you can tell the, the movement. And uh, so the, the flexors are gonna be on primarily here on this, on this, on this uh, angle from the, from the front, the, the flex are gonna be here, the extenders are gonna be on, on the backside. Uh, but of course, this is not a flat thing. So like some will be like kind of in between. Uh, so just keep that in mind, but primarily flexors on the inside, extenders on, on the outside. Uh, And so let's see here. Uh, so the flexors, let me look at my notes here. There they are. And the, <clears throat> this is just to not forget up here that the bicep, uh, the bicep has another attachment that's gonna wrap over the flexors. And uh, I'm gonna do this so you guys can see. Uh, I, can, I can do it on here. Uh, so this, this drawing here, you can see it has the primary flexor group. I'll simplify this as, as much as I can here. So you wanna, you wanna pay attention and uh, these are the ones that are closer to the surface, the more superficial ones. There are some others that are underneath here. You know, like you see these gaps, those gaps are filled in by by you know more muscles, but we're not gonna get we're not gonna get to those. We're not we don't have to worry about those. So look to to uh, to do this. Um, you want to you want to draw this right now. Uh, we're gonna make this because those the flexors. Uh, they make this big mass here. Look, leave this exposed and you're gonna bring it down here. This is the easiest way to do them. And it goes over the, uh, the pronator. So I'm gonna make this mass here. I'm gonna, Something like this. This is this is the mass of the flexors, and I'm gonna I'm gonna color over this. Yeah, I can use what color did I use? I think yeah, I think I can use keep with the orange right there. We're on the opposite side here of the, uh, on the, uh, we're on the bottom of the arm, so it should work out. Uh, so I'm gonna cover this. Because in a way it does, it makes this big mass here. To emphasize that it's uh, 
on to my yellow. You see where it ended kind of in a little bit below halfway in this head, in this, uh, well, here's that head measurement. It's actually, this is the third head measurement and the fourth head measurement. Never mind this line. This is the line created by the, when I joined the two papers. So it is like halfway between these two, well, approximately. Uh, so that, there you have uh, the mass for them. And the mass for the lecture group. And what you're going to do now is uh, separate this, you know, starting from up here. You're going to do this. Um, you know, cut it in half here. Then you're going to do this here. So, this is what you should have at this point. So what is that? That is, I'm breaking it up into all those individual uh, muscles. Now this one, you see where its tendon is going to end. Uh, and it, it attaches uh, primarily here to the, this is the radius. And its tendon goes, it's gonna go, I'll, I'll keep, I'm gonna use yellow here. But you know, let me just zoom in on this at this point. That's better. See this is gonna go, you see this, okay, this is the index finger, right? That is the flexor carpi radialis. Let me. So, you know, keep that in mind when, how I started doing this, like it's this big mass. <clears throat> Uh, just so you can see it a little bit more clear. I'm gonna outline this with black here. Yeah, this is this is the flexor carpi radialis. Now you can watch this. This portion is gonna I'm gonna divide it into a thick one and a thinner one. And so you can see it more clearly. I'm gonna do some white here. And this one is called uh, you'll see where it ends up. And this is very thin and very long. And this is called the palmaris longus, because it is, like I said, it's, and it goes right into the palm of the hand.
Let me just clean it up. Let me use some black here. And I think so that it looks, you know, the, the muscle portion is up here, is way up here. Most of it is this long tendon. To separate it even more. So we've got the flexor carpi radialis and the palmaris longus. So it goes down here into the palm. And it does this one, two, three. And some black, we just separate it. So there you have, well, I think now I can I've separated these two, I can some highlight here. <clears throat> and then you've got two more. Uh, let's see here. We've got this, this, this part of the, of the wrist. And from there, go straight up. That is the that is the flexor carpi ulnaris. I'll put some yellow here to separate. And that just leaves the flexor digitorium superficialis here. This one comes way down. Uh, This one has the shorter tendon. All of this here got the muscle here. And that is the easiest way to do this. So this is, like I said, this is a flexor, but it also, it wraps around to, towards the back. This is the flexor digitorium superficialis. Again, keep in mind there's other, you know, 
tendons and muscles in here. There's like a, a watch kind of like a wristband kind of structure over the wrist here that you know helps keep everything in place also. We're not gonna do that one, but just since you just wanna make a note of that. Uh, And also, before I forget, see, there's like a, I've got this gap here. This, uh, let me, before I keep going, I just notice that. See, this is tricep, long head. This is the, here you want to do the, This portion is the medial portion. So that looks that looks better. And like I had said, there is a, a portion of the biceps that just kind of, it, it does this, you know, it's just kind of blending, like it's tendon and fibers kind of, you know, wrapped into this, into the flexors here. She has two attachments here. And my mistake, I covered this part of the, of the ulna or something like that. Let me redefine the contour of it. So those are the flexors and uh, we've got about 40 minutes. Just gonna move over to this side. Like I said, we have flexors like extenders and then we have uh, another group that belongs to this ridge. It's gonna come in between the brachialis and the tricep. You know, just looking at this, I don't want to say that I could add more value to this muscle here so it looks a little bit wider here. It's not darker brown here. So it's four and one, two, three, and four. What else? Now I'm gonna do, like I said, the the extenders, but they are associated with this ridge. And I'll show you my notes what that's going to look like. I'm just going to take you, show you what's coming up. And I can find it here. See that right there? See the camera focus? See what I did here to show that it's uh, folding over itself. Look that shadow there, fitting between the brachialis and the and the tricep. So this is the 
the brachial radialis in the name because it, it's attaching to the, ra the, to the radius muscle and next to the brachius. That's this one here. And then you've got the extensor carpi radialis longus, which is the long one, and then extensor carpi radialis brevis, which means brief. So we'll do those. On. And so, you know, it, in, a, in a similar way of what we did uh, with the uh, with the flexors, we can do with the extenders here. See where I'm bringing this from? I just gotta make sure. See, this is where the pronatus teres ended, and they're gonna land there. And it's going to overlap uh, See, this is the, the mass that it makes. Let me get a softer pass down. So it goes by more quicker. More quickly, I can more quickly make these problems. I'm gonna cover it all. So, but it's coming in between the brachialis, this, this green one, and the tricep. Okay, so there. I'm gonna cut this. This is a bigger one from this angle. This is the brachial radialis. And it's tendon attaches right here, see, I mean, right on the on the radius, close to the wrist. And this is the
extensor carpi radialis longus. This one has, as the name says, very long. Uh, but what is long is the tendon portion. It starts right there. It goes behind right there like that. Make it a little darker there, maybe a little bit of a highlight here. A little more white there. And then we have the extensor carpi radialis brevis. It, this is the shorter one. And it occupies that space right there. Just put some yellow so it looks lighter. Some of the red chalk. So much it. charcoal here to uh, separate this. So there you've got the flexor and the extenders associated with the ridge. So that looks pretty good. Let's see how many muscles there are there. I mean, from this angle, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the lower arm. And then there's one here that moves the thumb a little, just a little, we see a little bit of this here. You see that one. It's a uh, tendon goes right on top here, right along the contour and into the into the thumb. And with when I have more time, I'll come back in here and I'll because this is sunken in here. Oh, this is very sunken in. And this structure, it's very thin. You don't really see it much. You know, it's just gonna push that in. This is like the, the very sensitive area of the arm here, this part. All right, so that is the front view. Now we're gonna do, we're gonna do those muscles on uh, the side view. See it there. Move the whole easel. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna work right here. That area. Maybe move 
this. I'm going to put some the nodes here. Use. Let me redefine this a little bit here. Very strong. This is the radius. The ulna in the back. And one muscle that I want to put in here is a, it's a tiny muscle you see on the side view here. It's, uh, in a way, it's the muscle of the, of the elbow. This is the anaquus. We'll draw it again when we do the, the back view. You know, like I've said, you know, you don't want to lose. You know, this is bone here. This is one of those bony landmarks. Elbow right there. And I'll show you. We we see it on this view, but uh, when we do the back of the arm, I'll show you where this attached. It's a kind of like a triangular form that it has. All right, so. Now look on this, <clears throat> on this angle, we've got the tricep lateral head. Let's see where that ends. We're gonna bring that over. And uh, that is where let me show you these. I'm not trying to make more sense of it when I draw it here, but see. These are the, the three muscles that we just drew. One, two, and three. And there's a lot of lines. So it's, I have a hard time figuring it out, but just so you get an idea what, what we're going to do. Uh, So look from here, coming in from here, you want to, it's going to overlap. The brachialis, the bicep. Let's see, it, it, it kind of goes over just the, the tendon portion of the, of the bicep. So we're doing that. And it, it follows. The ridge, you know, this ridge, this highlight here. Uh, 
I'm, I'll color it in in a, in a little bit and then we'll separate them like the way we did before. And it comes, you know, down here. So this, I'll fill it in right now with the, uh, just gonna fill it in with yellow here. And of course I have a lot of green, so it's gonna get rather brown. These are the extenders of the ridge. All separated. Just fill in the color. So it's this is the rich group here. And so this is this is where you will be the. This I'm doing is this one here, the brachioradialis. And to figure out where I'm gonna end it, where I'm gonna end this, I'm looking over here, just gonna bring that over. So this is a brachioradialis right next here to the brachialis. I'm going to fill it in. And I'm going to use yellow to show the, where the attaches right there. And I'll use, I'll use some charcoal so that it stands out there. separate you break your radialis the ridge the group that comes out of the ridge And then we have the, the next one, the Carpi radialis longus here. I'll make it a little bit darker. And this, you see yellow to show you that this tendon is going to end up at the index finger.
I see we've got a little bit there for the extensor carpi radialis brevis, this portion. And this one, the tendon goes right behind the longest one. It's kind of hard to draw it, but it's, it's right behind it. So those are the extensors of the, of the ridge. And uh, there's a couple of more. Let me switch to another, a more contrasty color. And it's two more extenders here that are going to cover up, and they they go right underneath these muscles here. Like I'm gonna you know, see where the where this is in that in that space. I'm gonna use green here. I'm gonna fill this in. And it goes outside of the, of the ulna. And just like I did before, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the big groove here. In mind, this is coming from under. I'm under this group. The extensor carpi ulnaris and the extensor digitorum. And this <clears throat> yellow here. This will go like into the top part of the palm. And so we have, we've got this gap. It's two muscles that move the thumb. It, it, you do see them 
on uh, you see them it overlaps here which is see this screen I'm gonna use violet here now I will line it up there'll be two of them. There's a longer top portion, and a smaller portion at the bottom. I got a little too soft. So these go on the thumb. Well, we got we still have 15 minutes. Let us finish up the back. So there. And see up to this point, we you know, in, in the in the figure drawings, the the bar drawings, the cast drawings, we're keeping everything angular, right? You know, none of this. Well, that's what you're supposed to be doing for that. A lot of broken lines. But see, also what I want to do uh, is eventually move into this idea of, of the curve. You're not supposed to be curving your lines at this point when you're making the figure drawings, uh, the drawings of the cast. But see all this, how all these curves flow into one another. This is also another thing that we're going to have to explore. You look over here, all this, how everything kind of flows, kind of like a plant. Uh, sometime next, we will put tracing paper over this and try and find all these S curves over the body. And then you realize that it looks very much like a, once you remove the tracing paper and just have those lines, the figure looks very, very or, I mean, it's very organic, but it looks very much like a plant. All right, so there you've got the main muscles of the arm, front view and, and side view. So I'm gonna try and finish uh, as much as I can with the time I have of the back. I don't know if I'll be able to finish the entire back of the arm, uh, but I'm gonna try my best. And you know, if I, you guys miss something, I'll post, I'll take a picture and I'll post the, I'll post all my notes, you know, and, I, and when I'm done with all this, I'll give you all the photos of my notes. Like I've got, I have all this as files, you know, as PDFs and JPEGs. So you guys can have the time to finish up. Like this.
Et soit dense. what I need here. I want to do the the delta one. Right, so we got this. I think the deltoid is uh, figure things out here. What do I do? What's more beneficial at this stage? I was trying to finish my, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish the whole arm today, but I do want to finish the upper arm. I think we have enough time for that. Uh, Okay, uh, so yeah, the, the deltoid, here's uh, my notes. Again, there's a lot of buildup of forms there. So you can see there, the portion that comes from the spine of the scapula and then the portion that comes from the, the chromium process there. So we're gonna try and do that. Uh, what did I use over there? Used orange. So here you, you can see from the previous time where we did the, the triceps, the long head, the lateral form, the, the tendon portion. Uh, let me lower this a little bit right there. There it is. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go here. I'm gonna outline this. And so this is, but see I broke this up here. And so we start at this corner and we're gonna just go slightly over the latissimus. Now keep in mind, this line is, is very, this is like, again, like ligament or like the, the attachment of the muscle. The major form is gonna be here. But this does create an indentation because the big mass of the, that portion of the deltoid is going to be right here. You see, it overlaps. No, but there should be no gaps here. And it sinks in there. And remember, this portion, the acromion portion, goes lower. And it starts up here. So 
So now I'm gonna I'm gonna put yellow over this. Separate it. I don't know, it looks a little too big. I think on this on this angle from behind, if you don't have the, the trapezius, it makes it look bigger than it should be. So there, there it is. Um, some white here. So you've got the deltoid. It's looking better. All right, so I think I hit the wall. Like I, all of a sudden, I just got tired. I just like, I try my best to finish all the muscles. <laughs> uh, I almost did it. And uh, so what, what I want you guys to do is make sure that you upload your finished uh, drawings to your blog and I can check those later. I. Uh, I'm done for today. Uh, all right, so that's uh, that is the class for today. So we got two minutes, but I'm like I'm. I was trying to finish everything, and I I'm exhausted. Uh, all right, guys. You guys have any questions so far? No? <laughs> no, I, I don't. Okay. 
Well, I like I said, uh, upload your finished drawings. I'll take a look. I will I will try and grade them by next time we meet. I'm I'm uh, I will post these pictures so you can get caught up if you're missing something. That's the main thing. This week we gotta finish. I don't. I think we'll. Be, my hope was to finish the leg next time, but I'm like, it was dependent on me finishing the arm, and I was, it's like, no, I couldn't do it. It's a lot of drawing. Uh, but we will be done with this pretty soon. All right. So this week is is to finish all the anatomy. As, as, uh, that's the main objective. And next time we will start. We'll start at uh, 4.45 so we can really finish this and we'll stay till it's done. And I'll drink some espresso and so we can really finish all this. All right, guys, I will let you go. I trust that you're drawing. I trust that you were eager to get back to drawing. Uh, I, I myself was, but now- Thank I'm you, sir. Bye-bye. All right, guys, hasta luego. Hasta el miércoles. Bye, guys. Thank you, Bye. Professor. Bye. Have a nice day or night.